President Johnson, we did work in Ferguson. We helped bring the new uh, investments and jobs. So my question, like General Colin Powell said, the biggest problem is the opportunity gap. How will the NA NAACP bridge that opportunity gap? For us, uh, advocating for public policy to assure equality among all is the, the, the opportunity bridge gap. Uh, if we have a strong legislative approach, local policy approach, we can ensure that individuals are not discriminated against. We can ensure that everyone is afforded equal opportunity. Because an example like Baltimore, you're seeing the growth, Ken Plank, the community doesn't feel it, but we know the top guys, Kevin Plank, Jamie Dimon, you know, Blanks and these big bosses, Coca-Cola CEO, are supportive of diversity, bringing these up. It's the middle in between that are against, especially in like, you know, Northern Virginia, where the flag, the Confederate flag, are. those are the suburbanites who are like really fighting against this kind of leap forward in mobility. How are you going to fight that? That seems to We're going to fight like we've always fought, right? right? To ensure that people understand that providing equal access for all promotes a healthy environment for blacks, whites, and everybody. And so if you want to have an environment where your children, your grandchildren can grow up, you, we all need to support access to opportunities for black, white, and for everybody. And the last question, Harry Tubman and A.W. Wells got suffrage, the, road to, road, uh, the right to vote for all women, and you just mentioned something during your speech. There are more white women benefiting from affirmative action than African Americans. This sounds completely insane today. Well, many of the policies we advocate for goes beyond just the community we represent. Yeah. Uh, because we advocate for policy of fairness and inclusion and equity. And if you advocate for that, there are so many other communities who are also being discriminated against, whether they recognize it or not. Yeah, but people don't realize that white women are getting more of the affirmative action than white minorities or veteran-owned businesses. But it's no different that many people didn't, didn't also didn't realize that African-American men had the right to vote before white women. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. All right. All right.